Arthur Magnus answers, motherfuckers. Let me uh, get to this. Okay, so is it is entitled interracial interracial dating and wait? She said, "Hey, I just saw your last video. That's something I've wondered about for a while. I'm five eight and two hundred pounds. I'm fat, but don't think I'm ugly fat. So she's not like sloppy fat. She's probably one of them fat where." You know when you look at her fellas and you kind of like, you know what, she big, but if she lose weight, that shit's gonna look right. It's Cause she got the curves on the right places. She ain't just a bunch of just nasty, shapeless fat, okay? So that's where we at right now, okay? Although I am, she said, okay, so even though she's fat, she's trying to lose weight. She said, I haven't had a long string of relationships, but the majority have been black. Not a lot of white guys have ever asked me out. So that means I guess white guys have asked you out, but just not a lot. Okay, I told y'all most most white men are dating the fat white girls. But anyway, so she's dating dating mostly black guys. She said, um, she said I get the feeling they don't think I'm attractive. It makes me feel guilty to date black men because I feel like I'm dating them because I've been rejected by my own race. <laughs> what do you think? Am I? part of the stereotype yes <laughs> uh, you are part of the stereotype it's a it is what it is okay overweight white girl you go out with black dudes yes that is a stereotype but I mean also you said like a white men not too many white men ask you out so look at America as a whole most people don't want to date someone overweight, right? So that's the reason why most white guys don't ask you out, because most white guys don't like overweight women. Let me tell you something, most black guys don't like overweight women, okay? But more of us will date someone thicker than a white man will. And that's the reason why most of your boyfriends are probably black, period. Um, but it's also gonna be how you carry yourself. From what I've learned uh, from having white friends, a lot of times, they're not sure whether they can ask you out because sometimes, see, certain there's certain big white girls that date black men that are white, okay? But then there's some black, and some white girls that date black men that if you didn't know it and you heard them on the phone, they are fucking black women. They talk uh, like they're black, and I know that's stereotypical, but we know, yes, look, white people have a specific way of talking that is stereotypical. So do black people, so do Spanish people, so do Asians, okay? That's just how it is. She sounds like a black woman on the phone. When you meet her, she dresses typically like a black woman. And her hair may be done like a black woman or Hispanic woman, okay? I did a video on, you know, how to tell if a white girl likes black guys and all that shit. So if y'all seen that video, you know what I'm talking about, okay? So it's different. I mean, if you feel guilty, I mean, apparently you like black men, you're dating us, uh, but you feel guilty. Um, you know, I mean, do you feel guilty or do you feel like less than what you should be type of thing? You know what I mean? Like you're dating them because they're asking you out, right? You're not asking them out. They're asking you out. So you shouldn't feel exactly, you know, guilty, but I understand you feel rejected by your own men, but black men are accepting you. So, you know, you know, there's no other way about it. It's a stereotype, but it's more of a stereotype if you're toward the other end, I think if you're doing your hair like minorities and you talk like minorities, you dress like minorities, then it's like, oh, if I'm white, I'm looking at you, even if I was interested, I might not even think I could get you because I'm thinking from the way you walk and talk and dress and everything, that that's all you want are minorities. Either you dating Spanish dudes or black dudes. That's what I would think. Now, if you don't look like that, if you look like a typical Becky, okay, <laughs> but you're just overweight, then they really don't know, you know, where to go with it. Cause like I said, I see plenty of fat white women with white men all the time. I sell security systems. I'm in houses every day. It's plenty of fat white girls dating white men. Plenty, okay? So uh, stop feeling guilty, all right? And if you feel so guilty, hey, lose all the weight and then start dating the white men. But you already used to us, so you might as well find a black man that you love and get married or whatever. I don't know. But uh, uh, I hope this answers your questions for you. Yes, you're a stereotype, but depends on how much of a stereotype you are. You know what I'm saying? Not that stereotypes are all bad, okay? Not 
all stereotypes are bad. For example, being a black man, people like, hey, you got a big dick, don't you? That's not a bad stereotype, you got what I'm saying? <laughs> all stereotypes are bad, you know? People tend to associate a fat white girl with a black dude as being bad. It's actually not bad. If you think about it, if you turn around, it's kind of more accepting. Like, the black people like a thicker type woman. Like, we're not into the bone thin. Like, there's no way I could date a bone thin woman. But I don't date anything that's fat either. You know, I like curvy women. You know what I'm saying? There's no way you'll ever see me with a bone thin woman. Because I feel like I... I had sex with just one girl and she was thin as hell and I felt like I was doing a little kid. I didn't like it, okay? I did not like it. I can't remember it now. I can see it right now. I was above her. She was, it was right from behind. <laughs> and I can remember looking down and seeing her butt moving on. I was like, this is a little girl fucking me. It did, did not feel right. You got this 5'11", 205 pound man with this well, she had to be what, maybe five foot one or two, and she was like 98 pounds. Like, no. First pedophile experience I've ever had that wasn't a true pedophile. She, she was grown, she just looked like a kid. <laughs> anyway, that's why that 18 year old fucking porn is so popular. Well, I was looking at, I was, told you I did that whole look at the porn and what genres were most popular, BBW was on there. Number one was young young and guys know when we look at porn they got all them categories 18 is like the first one you always see 18 or young it's like yo how many motherfuckers in this united states are in the fucking little girls like that's that if you want to talk about an epidemic that's more of an epidemic than anything think about it. the number one porn is called young so how far are guys taking this? If you click, see, I don't like the young porn. If you click on it, it's a bunch of girls with pigtails, little ponytails, and schoolgirl dresses. I don't know what the fuck that shit's about, personally. You know what I mean? Yeah, I ain't into it. You know, I, nah, I like older I, women. You know, sometimes I, I ain't gonna talk about that right now. Sarah's over here getting jealous and shit. She never like them a little bit mature sometimes, you know. I don't be watching no granny stuff, but, you know, just, you know, mature women, you know. Uh, anyway, uh, hey, babe, how you doing? She's staring right hey, through me like Superman, up, man of steel. Something. She could burn right through my head right now. <laughs> don't worry, babe, I ain't going to leave you for older woman. Uh, all right, uh, older women get at me. Listen. Magnesites, let me know what y'all think about. I'm just joking. Let me know what y'all think. <laughs> this is a joke. I swear to God, this is a joke. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, you're a stereotype. Get over it. Don't worry about it. Be happy, and you're going to be fine. Talk to you later.